The circuit shown here has been connected for a long time, which means that both capacitors have been fully charged. Find the readings of the ammeter and the voltmeter, and find the charges on the 3 nanofarad capacitor and the 4 nanofarad capacitor. In this circuit, we have three segments, one, two, three. And all three segments are in parallel with the 20 volt battery. So we know immediately that each segment gets 20 volts. And we can deal with the circuit one segment at a time. For the readings of the meters, we can just look at the middle segment. And we will treat the meters as ideal meters. So the meters do not affect the circuit at all. This means that we can just ignore the meters. So this segment will look like this, 8 and 12 in series, and they get 20 volts altogether. The amp meter reads the current in this segment. So we can say that the current is V over R, and the voltage of the segment is 20 volts. The resistance of the segment is 8 and 12 in series, so it's 8 plus 12. So we get 1 amp, and this is the reading of the amp meter. The voltmeter reads the voltage across the 8 ohms because the voltmeter is in parallel with the 8 ohms. So we want to find the voltage across the 8 ohms. To find the voltage across a resistor, we can use V equals to IR. The current through the 8 ohms is 1 amp. The resistance of the 8 ohms, of course, is 8. So this gives us 8 volts. That's the voltmeter's reading. To find the charge on the 3 nanofarad, we can just look at this segment. We have 5 ohms, 3 nanofarad, and together they get 20 volts. When the capacitor becomes fully charged, that means that no more charges are coming onto the plates. So that means that there is no more current in these wires. If there is no more current flowing through the wires, that means that we can cut the wires and nothing would change because there's no current flowing through them anyway. So if we cut the wires, that means uh, this entire segment will get how much current? Zero current. So the 5 ohms gets zero amps. And what we want to find is the charge on the capacitor. The charge on the capacitor is uh, C times V. We certainly know the capacitance is 3 nano, but we need the voltage over here. Let's see. These two, they are in series. So together, they share 20 volts. And how many volts does the 5 ohm get? V equals to I times R. The 5 ohms gets uh, zero current. So the voltage across the 5 ohm resistor is zero. Since they share 20 volts together. If this guy gets 0 volts, that means that the 3 nanofarad gets all of the 20 volts. So the voltage across the capacitor is 20. That means the charge on the capacitor is 60 nano. Since this is charge, it's nano coulombs. Then let's find the charge on the 4 nanofarad. If this capacitor is fully charged, that means, uh, again, no charges are coming onto the plates anymore. That means uh, no current in these wires. So we can cut these wires and take this capacitor away, and nothing should be different. So this segment of the circuit looks like this. We get, si we get 6 and 6 ohms in parallel, and then together they are in series with the 2 ohms. And they get 20 volts altogether. So we can start by finding the equivalent resistance for this combination. And we, go, we can use the 1 over R equivalent equals to 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6, which gives us 1 over 3. And that means the equivalent is 3 ohms. So the equivalent circuit for this one is 2 ohms and 3. They are in series. And together, they get 20 volts. So the current in this segment is V over R. The voltage is 20. The resistance is 2 and 3 in series. So 2 plus 3, and this gives us 
four amps of current. And what we need to find here is the charge on the capacitor, Q equals to CV. Although we can cut the wires and won't make any difference, but uh, the capacitor is still connected here, and this capacitor is in parallel with uh, which element? The capacitor is in parallel with the two ohms, which means the capacitor gets the same voltage as the two ohms. So the Q equals to CV, the C is 4 nano, the voltage is the voltage across the two ohms. So this is 4 nano times, what's the voltage across the two ohms? To find the voltage across the resistor, we do I times R. And that means uh, the current through these two ohms is uh, 4 amps. The resistance is 2 ohms. So this will give us uh, 32 nanocoulombs of charge on this capacitor.